Good evening, everyone. My name is Terry Burns, and I'm the 2016 Artistic Director of Words Aloud. I'd like to invite our own Steve Morell and his amazing ukulele up to the stage. Have fun, everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello I'm Amazing Uke. <laughs> Jesus, that's scary, eh? No, I won't be doing that all night. Uh, welcome to Words Aloud 2016. It says applause here. Yeah, okay, thanks. I'm Steve Morell. Got it right. Uh, I'm going to MC this evening. Uh, I've emceed a few times before, as uh, those uh, from here know. If not, I have. And one year I didn't bring my uke, and they were like, it was okay. Missed the uke. So it just comes with me. Tonight, uh, we got a great lineup for you. Uh, and this is the first of three main stage performances. And the MC always gets a time to do a little setup, to warm you up. That's part of my job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this year, I'm like, okay, those who uh, have seen me, see me uh, riff, sometimes you do a song, sometimes do a little spoken word thing, on words allowed blank. And the blank is the number of what the words allowed is, right? Last year, words allowed 12. Before that, words allowed 11. So this year, I'm like, hey, look at the lineup of uh, words allowed 2016. Oh, something's afoot, right? <laughs> Words allowed all of a sudden is a hotel. That floor does not exist. So I thought, because I love to be a little crap disturber, I'm going to do for you this evening Ode to 13 <laughs> by me and Wikipedia. I think that I have never seen a number so hated as poor 13. Feared, vilified for being unlucky, yet mathematicians say it's happy, even plucky. We even invented a wicked word to contain a malaise so absurd as the fear of 13 or trichostechophobia. <laughs> yet in Italy, tredici is utopia. In Persia, it is custom on the 13th day to leave the city and throw greenery away. The Mayans were afraid of the 13th Baktun. Trump aside, the apocalypse still doesn't feel soon. <laughs> A devil's dozen is 13, of course. In the tarot, XIII -I -I is death on his horse. And for Christians, there were 13 at the fateful Last Supper. Enough of the downer. Here's a few uppers. In Judaism, 13 is a party, bat or bar mitzvah. In teenage starts for each brother and sister. It's a Fibonacci. And the first compound number, my love of 13, I will not cumber. Hipsters say the six is the cool place to be. But I prefer hanging with the poets in the one three. So consider yourselves lucky that now you have been to the devilishly delightful Words Aloud 13! <laughs> yes. yes, thank you very much. Tonight we have three wonderful and very different performers for you. We're going to meet two of them, then we're going to take a little break and come back for the third. Before we get to go, I'm going to introduce one more very special guest. Uh, because for economic, social, and of course cultural reasons, it's critical that a community, especially one the size of Durham, has a very healthy art scene. And we are very grateful that Wes Gray, for a very long time, has been a supporter of this festival. And our mayor is here tonight, and it's become a valued tradition that on the opening night, uh, we have Mayor Eccles with us, and he loves to bring something that he's chosen himself to read. So please welcome to the stage the Mayor of West Gray, Kevin Eccles. Thank you, Steve, for the introduction. And welcome to everybody here, again, to Words Aloud 13, because I did notice that. I've got it here. Bookmark, Words Aloud 12. Where? What? Anyways, thanks for correcting that and getting it uh, underway for us, Steve. Anybody here for the first time? Wow, wow. 
this is, boy, I'm going to have to be on my toes to really inspire uh, these people to keep them coming back as well, too. Welcome to West Grey, a uh, very valued festival that uh, has been put on. Uh, started, obviously, 13 years ago and uh, has continued on and has done nothing but grow. And I think that is uh, a, a point of our municipality and more of our just our community because it goes beyond just the boundaries of West Grey. Uh, go slightly over there into Grey Highlands. Yeah, I know there's a few there. It goes up to own sound. Uh, but it does, it, it incorporates, but this is kind of the, the collection area. So uh, we're very thankful for this evening, but more than that, for the whole year round of cultural, artistic uh, promotion that is done here in West Grey, not only by the art gallery, but by all the artisans in the community itself. So to the new people, welcome to West Gray. To all the people that are returning, please enjoy the weekend as I know you have very much in the past. I was remiss if I didn't say I would have loved to have been at uh, Coffin Ridge last night to uh, enjoy not only the reading, but they do have a couple of good products that they produce there. Uh, fine white wine. Um, but I will say my uh, granddaughter arrived yesterday, my second granddaughter. Thank you. So Ruby Grace came in in the morning and uh, we, my wife and I were in Kitchener. And to say that I could pry my wife away from her granddaughter to go to Coffin Ridge, nah, it wasn't, you know, even great wine wasn't going to get her away from uh, Ruby yesterday. So. Thank you uh, for that. And I'm going to, I struggled, and I've got to say this, and it was a lot easier when uh, Liz Zetlin was uh, picking poems out and said, here, read this. <laughs> sure, okay, yes, yeah, I'll do that. I, uh, a few years ago, I had the opportunity, it was, okay, we think that you're, you're doing okay with this, so now, Go and do one on your own. Oh boy. So we have uh, done that. I was able to get it down to three, and if I can be indulged, I've cut it down while I was sitting back there to two. Uh, I did bring a backup with me, but I do have uh, two poems I would like to uh, recite this evening. And the first one is uh, being a politician. Uh, there's a bit of an understanding on this, and it uh, I got the book, and it's from uh, Jeanette Lines. Uh, picked that up last year. And as I was going through this, I thought, yeah, after you've been mayor for 10 years, um, you do end up with a couple of scars, so that's what this one is about. Banff Scar. Every story bears its scar. I could say I fell from an outcropping, having hit on some language for flight, landing badly sliced amid the lodgepole pine needles. Could place witness at an accident scene? A few wandering out, tracking my grand wipeout with dull, indifferent eyes. But I'm thinking, on the long way down, I must, must I be dishonest even away from home? Truth is, it happened on a concrete, dead matter. I was running to right, taking steps two at a time. Even my watch wore a bloody face. A blue nurse chirped, from afar while I bled, I didn't know they allowed blue. A mountain thing, maybe. My fall was full of hubris. I said, gurney voice, I was sewn back into my skin to pay for it. Later, back at Lloyd Hall, the writers asked, is that your writing hand? Baby, all my hands are writing hands. <laughs> I've gone attached to the scar, the lip-like flats, excuse me, the lip-like flaps stitched to my hand's outer slab, shaped of a wishbone, tipsy mountain. Beats the tattoo I always fancied. Now I know, the mark chooses you. And the second one, if I could be so bold. Strangely enough, 
I got reading through this book, come out a few years ago, Addictions of a Poet Laureate. Does anybody know Liz Zetlin? <laughs> Can I read this, Liz? I didn't ask you. <laughs> Friday night. I know the lawyer's letter will be there on Monday. <laughs> Power. Power resides in each one of us. It is a private and personal, capable of the greatest good and the most unimaginable terrors. It is a private and personal, this power of ours, and the most unimaginable terror. Unless we give it away, power is ours. Change is unavoidable. Even if we give away the power to change, the only power we have. Change is unavoidable. We can only change ourselves. The power to change is the only power we have. How and when is up to each one of us. We can only change ourselves, capable of the greatest good. How and when is up to each one of us. Power is ours. Thank you very much, Liz.